the Giants avoided being on the wrong side of history Sunday, but it was still another offensive performance to forget for this lineup. Rockies ace German Marquez tossed a masterpiece on the mound as the Giants mustered just one hit in a 4-0 loss. Marquez, 24, threw his first complete game and first shutout as he struck out nine and didn't allow a single walk. The Giants are in the hit column pick. Twitter.com slash VAHAOR3H, SF Giants on NBCS, at NBCS Giants, April 14, 2019 for the Giants. This has become all too normal. It's safe to say most people have dealt with some form of the Sunday scaries. In San Francisco, the Giants are taking them to a new level on the diamond. This was the second straight shutout for the Giants on a Sunday, and they've lost all three of their games on a Sunday this season. Second straight Sunday the Giants have been shut out. Overall 0-3 on Sundays with a 31-4K, BB ratio and just one run scored. 8 hits, 2, in 27 innings, McCovey Chronicles at McCovey Cron, April 14, 2019 Looking at the numbers really is staggering. The Giants have been outscored 10-2-1 on Sundays. Of their 8 hits, only one has been for extra bases, a Pablo Sandoval double against the Padres on March 31st. Dating back to last season, the Giants have now lost 8 straight games on Sundays. They dropped their final five Sunday games in 2018 with a combined score of 37-8. Their last win on a Sunday was August 26, 2018, a 3-2-1 victory over the Rangers. A win would have given the Giants their first four-game sweep since 2016. Instead it's another Sunday in the loss column as the Giants begin an eight-game road trip starting Tuesday against the Nationals. Related, Joey Bart's hot start with San Jose Giants catches Bruce Bocci's eye. Mark your calendar, folks, the Giants' next Sunday contest comes April 21st, and the fourth time's a charm. That's the saying, right? San Francisco, in August of 2016, Alex Rodriguez retired as a Yankee and the organization called up Aaron Judge, who has become a superstar slugger himself. The newest giant was right in the middle of all that. Rodriguez played his final game on August 12th and the next day the Yankees promoted Judge and a young first baseman named Tyler Austin. The two would make history, becoming the first teammates to homer in their first major league at-bats in the same game. Austin and Judge went back-to-back -back in the second inning of that August 13th game against the Evan Longoria-led race for Austin, that was just the beginning of something special. He didn't homer again until September 6, but that happens to be his birthday. Two days later, Austin hit a walk-off blast with two outs in the ninth at Yankee Stadium. He's the only player in MLB history who had his first three home runs come in his first at bat on his birthday and via walk-off. I was fortunate enough to get some opportunities to play and those special moments happened. Austin said on this week's Giants Insider podcast. It was a pretty special first few months in the big leagues for me, that's the kind of strange feat that you really only find in baseball, and ultimately it doesn't mean anything. but perhaps it shows that Austin is one of those players who likes the big moments. The Giants are hoping that's the case, related, Mad Bum skips Giants marathon win, pitches team to win next day, Austin hasn't homered yet, but he hit 17 last season and shows easy pop in batting practice. He said he's not worried about the massive dimensions of his new park. I feel like it's definitely a big ballpark but we'll have to see how the course of the year goes, he said. I'm not going out there to try to hit home runs by any means. I'm trying to drive the ball, put the ball in play, and usually good things happen when you take that mindset up there. For more from the new giant, listen to his interview on this week's episode of the podcast. You can stream it here or download it on iTunes here. The Giants arrived at Oracle Park on Saturday, just a few hours after leaving. Even in the wake of an 18-inning marathon in which the Giants beat the Rockies, the Orange and Black were in energized spirits, which was surprising, but not everyone lacked snoozes. 
With Madison Bumgarner scheduled to be on the bump the next day, he was fast asleep in the 10th inning Friday, knowing he had starting pitcher responsibilities, I checked my phone there in the 16th, he told reporters Saturday prior to the Giants' 5-2 win. I was like, my goodness, I tapped my wife and was like, hey, they're still playing, reporters laughed at the response, possibly almost in envy. So Mad Bum got enough sleep, and it showed. He recorded his first win of the season Saturday, pitching seven innings with seven strikeouts. Buster Posey went two for four, driving in his first run of the season with a double in the third. And Kevin Piller hit yet another home run in the fifth, bringing his season total to four. While the Rockies suffered their eighth consecutive loss of the season, it appeared the Giants were in positive spirits, despite getting very little sleep.